welcome you to my channel i am uju samo this video is in response to the wave of information going on in the academic community of nigeria universities where nuc required that all academic sheets have their publications profiled on google scholar on booking as well as on problems among others Recently, I did I made a video that talked about proving ways you could increase your citations and and all that on my channel youtube.com forward slash c forward slash do somewhere. This very video will be talking about how you can profile yourself on problem. And let me also point this out: profiling yourself on problems has not only to do with you registering your email address and registering your password on problems. The essence of you profiling yourself is to input all your journal articles, conference papers, among others, and the corresponding citations, so that at a bottom trace, the public will have access to your academic resume, including your all your publications and the citations that have come from them. Now, the first thing you will do if you do not have an account on problem is to click on register but if you have an account you do not need to register you simply log in using your email address and the password to log in you click on login and you input your username and password as it is here available you input your email address and your password then you click on login alternatively if you have booking account or you have LinkedIn account or you have a Gmail account or you have a Facebook account or WeChat account you could use them as well to log in to your problems account but if you do not have an account there you are expected to register and to register you simply click on register as it is as it is up here click on register then you input your email address and your password so if you are registering it will require you to enter a few few forms such as your email address your password you will repeat the password again your name your last name then this capture the capture is to authenticate if you are a human being or you are a bot so all you need to do is enter this the capital letter h a s capital letter k and m obviously this will be different from the one that you have with with you on your screen if you are newly registering but to sign in since i have an account before i'm just going to sign in with my official email address please mind you this is not yahoo please mind you it is not yahoo it is not gmail it's not Hotmail. it is expected to be your affiliated institutional email address now I'm, i entered mine and i click on signing immediately i sign in that is not all about the profiling the next thing for me is to update my record and updating my record implies that my publications are expected to be made available on these accounts to do that you come to publications there by the left hand side if you are using the computer you see it there and on the publication you will see the list of publications you have imported you could see mine here this is a publication i made this is a research articles i made such I I made on uh, I published on uh, the year 2020. You could see no citation whatsoever yet on it. So any citation that comes either tomorrow, next tomorrow, next year, or whenever is going to reflect here, right here. So to to import your publication, first and foremost, the problems as connection with web of science databases. So immediately you profile yourself using your email address and your name problems automatically connect to web of science publications to bring all corresponding publications to your name and to your email address what i mean by this is this my name as i was registering i was as i was registering problems is samuel Ojo. so every publication on web of science database that that is that are um Samuel Ojo, it will go to fetch them out. You could see 42 publications are related to Samuel Ojo. You could see it here Ojo Samuel, Ojo, Ojo S, Ojo Samuel, Adeniyi, Ojo Samuel, and all of that. The, the essence of this is to help me in a way to go through all this and identify which one of these is mine or which ones are mine. So, if for instance, after I've gone through these, bow or whatever if it is my own all i needed to do is do a click here 
immediately you do a click you will see claiming one publications and rejecting photo one that is i am indicating that this one is my own corresponds to my own name and all that so if, if this for a mine you will see the change in number there this is three once i click on the fourth one the number changes to four here so when i'm done i simply do a click on submit the very moment i click on submit it will hide these four journal articles to my profile so anybody that visits my problems account will automatically see all these four articles and see the corresponding citations and with that NUC can properly read our institutions that is our affiliated institutions but none of them is mine that leaves me with other options because i couldn't see any of i've gone through the 42 publications suggested here but none of them is mine so that takes me back to the other options so i go back to publications so that i can import my publications now let me point this out illustratively now for a researcher there is what is called researcher id and for journal articles there is what is called doi doi is an acronym of digital object identifier let me point this out again for a researcher and author there is research researcher id and for every journal articles there is that for every journal article there is what is called doi which is the acronym acronym of digital object identifier so i'm going to import publications there the essence of the researcher id and all that, that i say you will see here so the first option is the first option that i have in importing my publication is the first one which they gave me 42 suggestions but none of them is mine so the second one is OCID, OCID rather. So the OCID is the researcher that ID I was referring to. For instance, I am Samuel Ojo, and Samuel Ojo has 100 publications. Samuel Ojo should is expected to have an ID created for himself. So that ID can be created on OCID, can be created on a researcher ID. Now, all my 100 publications are expected to have DOI, each of them. So. But you can have you can have those things done on okay or you can have it done on research id among others so if you have done that you could easily link your okay id to problems a but in a situation where you do not have it then you can come down to connecting your account through doi that is to say samuel you doesn't have okay now the next thing to do is okay now start bringing in your researchers i mean your, your articles one by one that is what all the 100 articles i'm going to bring in bring them all in one by one using your doi if i even i have an orchid account i will have added all my articles there using doi so connecting my orchid to problems a will automatically have put all my journal articles using the id using the doi rather using the doi to so approve all of them but in the situation where i do not have the account my article using doi now this is a problem to people who do not have doi especially people that published locally if you need publications of your journal articles with local publishers majority of them do not care about doi creating doi for you for also you have the responsibility of promoting yourself and promoting yourself in the sense that creating doi for each of your journal articles and how to go about that i'll make a video after now you can just follow this channel and make comments click on the notification button so that you get the video once i once i'm done with it so let me use my own publication as an instance here is the doi so all i need to do is to just copy starting from this number i don't need all this https slash where i don't need it it's this number precisely that i need down so i just copy them then I come to this place, I'll impute them here. The very moment I impute them and I click outside, it will import. You can see the title automatically brought in, the URL or the article automatically brought in. Then I'll click save publication. That is for the first article. I'll do that for the second, I'll do that for the third, fourth, up to the 100 articles. Now, in the situation where you have already done all of these things on Orchid here, all you could, all I could have done was to come to this place, sync with Orchid, and impute my Orchid. Once I impute it, it will pull everything. That's the reason, that's the reason I said that for a researcher, there is, an, there is a researcher ID. And for every journal article, 
for every article or for every publication that is DOI. Now, the last one is imports by file. This has to do with some level of expertise. If you do know how to do about it, these are the four means of importing your journal articles, your publications rather, into problems. It is not about you creating an account using your email on problems, but importing all of this. So I'm going to make a video on creating okay and how to generate DOI for your journal article personally in case your publishers fail to do that for you. So simply simply follow this channel and click on notification button when it's going to be no because I'm going to do it very very soon. Thank you very much.